what's really important for me to help people realize is that healing is not difficult. It's not something where you need to hire some fancy guru who's going to go hunting in, you know, the rainforest to find you special herbs. You know, there's not something, some special potion you have to take that really healing is going to come from just knowing what to buy at your supermarket. And so I always tell people, you can heal with supermarket foods. It's easy. The hardest part about changing your diet and your health is just deciding to do it. I see people take weeks, months, years to decide it because they're thinking about, oh my God, I'm going to miss out and how can I not ever eat cheese or how can I not ever have that ice cream or oh my God, steak, blah, blah, blah. And, and the suffering they create while imagining the change, that's the hard part. Once you decide to do it, for most of us, I know for me, once I make a decision to do something, nothing's stopping me. That's, this is what I'm doing and that's it. It's the decision that's hard, but doing it's easy. It's literally about knowing which aisles to walk down in your supermarket, which stuff to grab, and which stuff to just keep walking right past. And it's actually really easy. You can do it anywhere in the world. My husband and I travel with our kids around. We just did a whole road trip coming from Texas all the way up through the East Coast, all the way up to upstate New York, came all the way back down through Texas, went all the way up the Pacific Coast, and everywhere we stopped, in every city we stopped in, we could find food. Not every city had a plant-based raw vegan restaurant, okay? But every, thing, every single city we stopped in had a supermarket. And so if we couldn't find a restaurant we wanted, we would stop at a supermarket and we'd buy a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables and we'd make a picnic for ourselves and we had a great time. It's really, really easy to do and anybody can do it just using their local supermarket. You just have to decide that this is what you're going to do. One of the big questions I keep getting asked is about organic versus not buying organic and do you only get better with organic foods? And I've heard some people say that that's true. I can tell you when I changed my diet, I had just graduated medical school. I was an intern making 30 grand a year who was still borrowing money from my parents to meet my rent. <laughs> I was not buying anything organic, not at all. And yet, even though I didn't have the money to buy organic foods and I was just using what I could buy at Walmart, the leftovers from the farmer's market, you know, or whatever was on sale at the supermarket, I was able to transform my health. And so I actually reversed my labs and my lupus not using organic produce at all. Now at this point in my life, yes, if I can find organic produce, I prefer that, especially the ones that have the thin skins, you know, if it's apples or strawberries or things like that where the pesticides are really going in there. I would prefer not to eat those chemicals. I would. So I do prefer getting organic produce when I can, but I'm not scared of the ones that aren't. And here's the reason. You know, when you look at T. Colin Campbell's research, and he's an amazing guy. I'm so excited to be sharing the stage with him soon. And one of the things he pointed out is that it's not just what you're exposed to in terms of chemicals. It's whether or not those chemicals are allowed to penetrate your cells and cause those cells to start producing cancer cells. So if you are exposed to pesticides, but you are eating a hyper-nourishing, plant-based diet, you have very low inflammation, then your body is not going to necessarily cause cancer or cause any disease from that. You're going to be okay. I've been okay for all these years with that. The problem is when you are eating super inflammatory foods, you're eating dairy products, you're eating meat, you're eating eggs, you're eating all these inflammatory foods, processed foods, all these oils you shouldn't be eating, and then you add to that pesticides and, and all these chemicals that we know can potentially cause cancer, now you're in the perfect storm where something can happen. So for example, if you've got a cancer-causing compound in your body, and then you add dairy, which we know the protein from dairy casein is a cancer promoter on the DNA level. It actually tells your DNA, go ahead and make some cancer. So if you've got the right ingredients on board, such as you know, cancer-causing chemicals, now you're in danger. For me, I don't think that it's even possible I could develop cancer. So I'm not really worried about that. So yeah, I think, you know, as I said before, the most important thing is not necessarily the extra stuff you're eating, but what you're missing. So if it's, you know, either eat kale with pesticides or no kale, eat the kale. So a lot of people think that as you get older, your metabolism is just going to get slower and you're just going to start to get wrinkles and you're just start, going to start to gain weight and you're just going to start to get sick. And that has been the truth in our culture. As we get older, we lose our ability to maintain our weight. We get sicker. Most senior citizens are taking eight to 10 pills. You know, so that has been the case, but it's not because that's what your cells are programmed to do. It's been the result of how we're nourishing our bodies. So when we're born, most of us who are born as healthy babies have all of the nutrition. Our cells are perfectly functioning, right? It takes years to slow that down. So 
while the process happens, so you know, let's say you nurse your infant, which I hope you do, if you breastfeed your infant, they're continuing to get everything they need, right? It's only when you start introducing the toxic foods to them that you start to affect the health of their cells. And how long it takes to damage those cells depends on how much of the bad foods they're eating and their genetics. So when you take that, so you take the average American kid who may be formula fed, by one years old, they're on cow milk, so they're already creating inflammation in their body. Then they're getting goldfish crackers and all sorts of processed stuff that they're calling food, and they're putting all that into their body. Now they're starting to create changes that are affecting their cellular health, which then affects their metabolism. And when I talk about metabolism, I'm not just talking about your weight. I'm talking about your cell's ability to heal as well. It's really, really important to understand. So what we're seeing, and it's getting worse now, is that while kids used to start getting sick older. You know, we didn't see children getting diseases that we do now. Uh, when I was in medical school, they taught us that they thought that adult onset diabetes, which is what it was called then, was going to start happening in kids soon because they were seeing an increase in blood sugars in children. Now, it's not that much longer after that. It's just type 2 diabetes because children get it just as often. So we are poisoning our children so much to this, at this point. Our food supply has gotten so poor that that's, that's actually happening faster than it ever did. So we are now seeing obesity and disease starting at a much earlier age. And it's not because they're old. It's because the foods are so toxic, it's actually causing those changes much sooner than we expected. And that's why now, for the first time in history, they're expecting children not to outlive their parents. So we're in a crisis right now when it comes to healthcare, and it has to do with food. So when it comes to metabolism, it's really about how your cells have been treated over time is going to be how they continue to treat you. So for me, you know, growing up, my parents, when I was a teenager, my parents actually opened Domino's Pizza franchises, which for most people, that's a dream come true. It was for me. I got pizza every day. School lunch was pizza. I had pizza for dinner. But I was eating dairy like crazy. I mean, that was just, I was a cheesitarian, you know? And for me, between Chef Boyardee and pizza, that even though I still liked to eat salads and fruits, it was, it was too much for my body, especially with my genetics. And by 16, I've got arthritis and, and you know, rashes and migraines, right? And I'm six months away from kidney failure. So really, you know, we got to look at that combination. The cool thing is, this is reversible. Our cells are constantly turning over. We don't have the same cells right now today that we have when we were born. We don't have the same cells we had five years ago. In fact, by 10 years, you've completely turned over all the cells in your body, which means for me, having been healed 10 years ago, there is not one cell in my body that remembers having lupus, which is amazing, right? There's not one cell in my body that was ever sick. So we have the ability to turn this around by nourishing ourselves. So you can start today, and it doesn't matter what age you are, and we say you, know, you can get the body and the metabolism of your dreams at any age. You can start today and start literally getting younger on a cellular level. So you can start nourishing those cells and all the new cells that are getting born now, they've got omega-3 fatty acids and they're flexible and can receive messages. They've got hydration and they're functioning beautifully. And if you keep doing that over the years, you're gonna have more cells that are healthy than are sick and you're gonna see that transformation happen. You'll see it on the inside based on your digestion, based on your energy, based on your strength. And you'll see it on the outside as your skin transform and you have this glow and your lines start to go away and you start getting calls from ex-boyfriends or ex-girlfriends going, what happened to you, right? So it all starts to change. So the most beautiful and poignant thing that, I, that, that I've learned through all of this research and my experience is that metabolism is something that you can change. And it's not just this march towards death slowly as you get fatter and sicker in this horrible way that you've got to go, but you can turn that around and you can literally get younger starting today just by changing how you eat.